Well, good morning. Kate Mitchell from Scale Venture Partners, and I'm here today talking to E.O. O'Donnell from Cooley. Um, and it's great news, or interesting for all of us as GPs in particular, and I think LPs as well, to talk about some of the things that folks like Cooley are seeing as they see so many more documents than any of us will ever get to see. So, Ian, you and I have been talking about a few things that are interesting, mm -hmm. and I'll take a few, tease out a few changes, mm -hmm. um, because in interesting, there's not a whole lot changing in this environment, mm -hmm. which is kind of surprising, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but there are a few unusual increments. So maybe we'll mm -hmm. start with the access funds, the ones sure. that are hard to get into uh, for limited partners. Um, what are GPs in those funds doing? Are economics yeah. pushing? What's the big change there right now? Yeah, you know what's interesting is that the top tier funds really aren't asking for more economics. Um, and most of those funds, if they have a premium carry, they're just sticking with a premium carry. Okay. Um, if they don't have a premium carry, they might be sort of edging up into asking for a higher carry with a hurdle. But they're okay. not. They're not just, you know, um, hitting the ball out of the park and saying we're going to change everything and all the economics. But what they are asking for are different governance terms, and they're really okay. trying to loosen up governance terms. Interesting. What do you mean by that? Well, so some funds are sort of broadening their investment scope, and so they might be asking right. for more ability to do international investments. International okay. is becoming a much bigger yeah. uh, area. Yep. Uh, or they might be trying to do different kinds of investments, maybe like a little bit of allocation to virtual currencies uh, or something like that. Right. Um, those are the kinds of things that they're asking for. Interesting. OK, broadening the strategy, mm -hmm. broadening their focus. Well, you mentioned premium carry. And that's something that, except for the access funds, has not been pushed as much. Mm -hmm. um, LP seem to have accepted it. It's a good mutual alignment of interest mm -hmm. if you can push that far. So not necessarily a bad thing if structured correctly. And there's probably mm -hmm. been some learning about that. Sort of for that right beneath that access mm -hmm. fund mm -hmm. issue, top yeah. tier fund issue. What's happening there in terms of, of premium carry? Sure, is there more sure. of it, less of it? We're when certainly are seeing, yeah, we're certainly seeing more funds starting to think about asking for it. Okay. And I think if you want to have a reasonable shot at it, uh, what you really would like to see in your portfolio is a couple of um, of the really either big winners yeah. or a consistent pattern of IRR pushing in the sort of 20% range. Um, hmm. And now, you know, with a total return of capital, that might be, you know, if it's an early fund and you haven't gotten all the exits yet, maybe 2x, but moving to a 3x. Um, you know, if you're in the PE space, that's about right. If you're in the venture space, it really should be higher than that. Yeah. Um, as well as, I think, just demonstrated access to being able to get into the really high-flying deals, you know, the Twitter and Facebook. And it's not enough to just have one of those. You need to kind of yeah, show lucky. repeated you show you yeah, access. Okay, okay. And then, you know, when you look at, you know, there's been a lot of discussion on fund size. Mm -hmm. You know, for a while it was de rigueur for everyone to have a billion dollar fund and then everybody shrank and mm -hmm. things are moving around a little bit right now. Yeah, uh, they well, sure what are. do you see the impact on size? Because it does relate quite a bit to terms. Absolutely. I mean, I think there are really two um, groups of fund managers out there. Mm -hmm. One group of fund managers is willing to live with a smaller size. Okay. And more often than not, I think you see that in sort of the top performing sector. Okay. Where they're willing to say, you know what, we only need, you know, X hundred million dollars because right. we're sure that no matter what happens three years from now, we can raise again. Um, the other school of thought is that you know the markets are very good right now. Nobody knows when the next crisis is going to hit, so we might as well take as much off the table as we possibly can. Um, and there are certain groups that are doing that. Mm. I think you do see LP resistance to that because there is LP concern that some funds can get too large, yeah. especially for you know the size of the team that's managing those and the funds. The strategy they're pursuing. The strategy they're pursuing. You know, the flip side of that is that we are seeing private deals get larger and larger. And so, right. you know, from the right. fund manager's perspective, they want to have the ability to access enough capital to get into those really good deals when, uh, when they get to the later rounds. Yeah. And what do you see in terms of best practices for GPUs coming in? And they're, 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 they've had a series of successful funds. Mm -hmm. They come in with you guys. Do the best, I mean, are folks strategizing, putting things forward has changed? Do they spend time with their advisory board? In oh, they sure best do. Practice, yeah. Okay. Um, you know, I think our advice is always to socialize with your closest LPs. First, That's always the, the best thing. You know, and it's, you know, Funds are like marriages, and yes. you, you have to communicate with your LPs and talk about what's acceptable, what's reasonable, and what's best for both parties. Yeah. And that's always our best practice advice. In the advice. long run, which yeah. is always like a yeah. good marriage. All yeah. right. Well, thank you. You guys are thank great you. partners, too, all your GPs. Thanks. Thank you.